It's impossible to imagine Kansas City without the influence of Ewing Marion Kaufman, a name just as familiar to longtime residents as it is to visitors just passing through. But how did one man's lasting legacy turn Kansas City into Kaufman City? Ewing Marion Kaufman was born September 21, 1916 on the family farm near Garden City, Missouri. After a series of devastating floods, the family moves to a home on Harrison Street in Kansas City. He attends Faxon Elementary and sells fish and eggs around his neighborhood. At 11, Ewing is diagnosed with a heart condition. He is put on bed rest for a year and begins to read as many as 40 books a month. As a teen, Ewing earns the rank of Eagle Scout and becomes the first scout in the country to earn the Readership Merit Badge. He graduates Westport High School in 1934 and earns his associate's degree in business from the Kansas City Junior College in 1936. Six weeks after the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor, 25-year-old Ewing Kaufman begins his service as a signalman in the U.S. Navy. Ewing's intelligence and math and memory helps him win a small fortune while playing cards with other sailors. He used the money to buy his first house, cars for him and his wife, and would eventually help him finance his first business. In 1947, Ewing begins his first pharmaceutical sales job with Lincoln Labs. In his second year of employment and only getting paid commission from his sales, he earns more money than the president of the company. June 1st, 1950, 33-year-old Ewing opens Marion Labs from the basement of his home on Locust Street in Kansas City, making sales calls during the day and filling orders at night. His first year in business, the company makes $1,000 in profit. In 1956, Kaufman introduces company-wide profit sharing. When Marion becomes a publicly traded company in 1965, hundreds of Marion associates, including production workers, become millionaires. In the 1960s, Ewing is tested and he is now reading 5,400 words per minute. It's 1962, and Marion sales top 3 million. He establishes the Kaufman Foundation, which has grown into one of the largest private foundations in the U.S., focusing on entrepreneurship and education. Ewing begins to invest in other interests, buying two racehorses from entertainment icon Desi Arnaz. Mr. Kaufman bids for and is awarded a Major League Baseball franchise. The Royals sell more than 7,000 season tickets before their first pitch an American League record for sales. In 1970, Marion Lab sales are now at $30 million a year. Ewing and Mariel Kaufman win the National Red Cross Man and Woman of the Year Award for teaching 125,000 people CPR in the outfield of Royal Stadium while the team is out of town. In 1988, Ewing announces Project Choice, promising eighth graders at Westport High School full college scholarships. After reporting profits of $227 million, Marion Labs merges with Merrill Dow the merger makes 300 Marion Lab Associates millionaires. In 1991, Good Morning America films live in Kansas City to talk to Mr. Kaufman and Project Choice students. In 1993, Mr. Kaufman announces his Fast Track program for aspiring entrepreneurs. Mr. Kaufman makes his last public appearance at Royal Stadium when he is inducted into the Royals Hall of Fame. In July of the same year, Royal Stadium is renamed Kaufman Stadium in honor of the team's devoted founder. It's the only American League ballpark named in honor of a person. A month later, Ewing Marion Kaufman passes away at the age of 76. This work and research was funded by the Ewan Marion Kaufman Foundation. The contents of this publication are solely the responsibility of the grantee.